Hello, I'm Tina. In this video, we are starting kind of talk about GSP life cycle. The reason is um, last video we talked about what is GSP, right? And we also mentioned what kind of data we can put inside a GSP file. And we mentioned two parts. The first is uh, static HTML, static. All the content you can put in HTML, you can put in GSP file. And the second part is a dynamic part, which uh, we mentioned the seven GSP elements. And uh, let's, let me show you here. Okay. And this is the seven elements we mentioned. Um, but we just briefly introduce what they, them. And uh, in order to actually understand how they works, we have to take a look at GSP lifecycle. Otherwise, you, it's kind of like you just remember what they are. You actually don't fully understand how they works. So that's why before I head over to talk about each of the element here, each of the one, two, three, four listed element here, I prefer to talk about a little bit uh, the life cycle first, at least the first step. So then I will go back and explain all of them. Then I will continue on GSP life cycle. Otherwise, it's really hard for us to understand the dynamic uh, part used inside the GSP. Okay, so GSP life cycle. What is a GSP file? Because eventually, what when we run our when um, uh, when we have a Java code and Java is a platform independent, right? Because all the Java code, Java class files will be turned in. Java files will turn into a dot class file. When we have a dot Java, it will turn into a dot class file. Then the GRE, then GRE will uh, execute them, right? And how about dot dot? Yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. Can't you see? Okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. Now, how about a dot GSP file? This is the file we have, right? For .gsv file, actually, eventually, it's going to become a .java file. And this .java file is a special one. It's a servlet. Which means eventually, any .gsp files you wrote, eventually, it's going to be turned into a servlet. Dot Java file. Suppose you have index.jsp. Eventually, you're gonna have index.java. Index. I think it's not called index. It's called uh, index underscore. It's called index underscore dot jsp dot Java file underscore. And this Java Java class is a servlet. And then. Uh, it will go through the, after you got the servlet, then it will go to the next step, is uh, compilation. And it will become dot class file, which is in this case is index underscore GSP class. So this is the first step of uh, GSP. Got it? First step. Any GSP file will turn into a Java file, and then it will compile this Java file to be a class. Okay, this is the first step in GSP lifecycle. So now let me show you what's gonna look like for this servlet. Okay, so let's go to our uh, ID. Uh, here I have a GSP demo, and uh, in this demo, uh, I just uh, configured for the POM. Other part is the same, okay? And I don't have any server yet. So I will do is create uh, index.jsp. 
when application starts, it will automatically load index.jsp. Okay, that's a welcome file which is set in Tomcat where web.xml default loading. So here is welcome. Okay, and the body, let's have a header. Uh, welcome to Miss China. Please like and uh, subscribe. <laughs> Okay, important exclamation means important, important, important. Okay, so now let me deploy. Okay, let me deploy. Mm, I did that config that config. Okay, okay, I already config. Okay, so deploy. <sighs> oh, tired. Okay, deployed successfully. And now uh, on the browser, okay, when we go to the root, right, you will see what we just created and which is, is our GSP. But it's not actually, it's not the same as uh, HTML file, okay? And it's gonna have a servlet, I told you. It's gonna, and why is the servlet located? It's here. Wait for a second, I'm trying to find for you, okay? Okay. Uh, if you are using, uh, if you are using, uh, what, what's the thing? If you are using uh, Windows, it's the same, you take a look at where it, this part, okay? This is where it's gonna be located, this one, Catalina base this part and uh, I'm gonna go here because I don't know how to I using the finder okay I'm still not familiar I don't know how to go to find go and find the user I don't know how to go back so what I learned is this one can I make it larger yes can I make it larger I think I can go oh here uh, I think here we go to a library library okay this is a library right then we follow the syntax okay library then we go to cache your yeah. caches this one then you see jet brand yeah, yeah, sorry no no, no 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 scroll down do we have a jet brand this one jet brand come I'll make it larger okay you go to cache, go to JetBrain, and you can see IntelliJ, this ID, and you see Tomcat, yeah, Tomcat, and then you find the project you deployed. Why, why, why it's like, why it's look like. Project is called the GSP demo. GSP demo. Where's my GSP demo? Oh, this one. GSP demo, this one, right? Okay. And then you go to, if I remember correctly, GSP demo, you go to work. You go to Catalina, localhost, uh, va, org, Apache, GSP. See here, this is that this is the Java being generated, and then the first step after generated the Java class, then it will compile to be a dot class file. See, this is the corresponding servlet class for the index.gsp. Okay, you just follow here, follow here, Tomcat then GSP demo, then you will find it and let me open and show you, okay? So, uh, this is our GSP and eventually it's gonna turn into a Java class and see here, index GSP and uh, this is actually a servlet, okay? You have to go up, this is actually a servlet but a different implementation, this is a servlet and you will see some uh, static settings, okay? And you will see uh, instance, and these are the two methods. You actually, this is kind of like private, you, you can override to provide initialization and uh, destroy. Do I, do I have others? Okay, structure, let's see here. We can see all the method, I, uh, yes. 
This one, do you remember in servlet we have a init method and we also have a destroy method. This is the part you can actually init and destroy here, which is to do a similar thing like initialization and others. And take a look at it. This is a very important method, GSP service. The difference between the servlet, actual servlet and the GSP turned into servlet is in GSP, there's no do methods. It only has because we only has a one way to access GSP, which is a get. There's no post put. So in the GSP, this is the execution part of the GSP, uh, GSP service. And uh, here has some others. Okay, like uh, see here, if option is all those, then just return. Okay, and if the not get not a post not a head you will see and it only has a get and it also has a response set to be text html and uh, see here uh, let me use in horizontal okay uh, no, no 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 vertical 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 okay uh, let me use in vertical wait me for a second vertical okay good good so okay like this now let's take a look at okay in our gsp okay in our gsp this the uh, the left side is our gsp and the right side is the automatically generated uh, servlet class corresponding to this gsp so here when when you see HTML, here we'll have an HTML here, okay? And when you see head, he will output a head. And when we have a title, he will output a title. And when we have a head, it will have a head. And when we have a body, it have outright the body. And when we have H1, you can see here has a H1. And when we have a body, it have a body. And when we have HTML, it's HTML. And the other part is kind of standard inside the H, uh, inside the uh, generated uh, servlet. Okay, so this part is actually match to this part. Okay, and this one is kind of like a set of the content type or things, and it's been set here. Content type. And that's corresponding to this piece. Got it? I think I got it. So we can do again, like uh, suppose I add something later. Uh, uh, um, uh, next video, okay, H2. Okay, uh, next video is about the declaration. I think it's a declaration, right? Let me see. Let me see if it's a declaration. Yes, declaration, okay. And I have H2, right? So if we redeploy and uh, access again, UI will regenerate again. And you will see this one will be out dot right again. So we go there again. Uh, we, have to ac uh, we have to access the file. Otherwise, see here, it's been changed. And then we go to our org Apache GSP, and this is the file generated. Okay, and we can open with IntelliJ. Okay, and now let's using horizontal. Oh, sorry, I using vertical again. Horiz uh, no, no, vertical. And here you will see no other things being changed, but whatever the HTML code. It's gonna be wrapped into a method called out uh, right. It's kind of similar to very similar to what out right is what. It's it's also a stream output a stream. It's a similar to print out. You using out dot print line. Same thing. Okay. Here, do you see? So, uh, this is the first step I want to know about uh, GSP and uh, the. Uh, generated the servlet class match to the GSP file, okay? Uh, once you understand this, and later on, you we will, it's gonna be easier for us to understand what they are doing, okay? So uh, I'm gonna stop now.
because we have uh, already took uh, briefly took a look at what uh, happened and the next step is uh, a compile okay match to our lifestyle here once we get the java class then it will compile to dot class file and uh, we do see here has a dot class file okay so oh, that's it Thank you for watching this video and next video we're gonna start talking about declaration okay mm, that's it bye bye